Welcome to Alfie and Daddy's channel as we watch videos and learn interesting things. And this first video, what are we learning about? What are we learning about? Uh, tall, tall, tall buildings. Tall buildings, including some that are already there and some of the visionary projects of the future that may or may not happen. That's for us to decide as we watch this video, right? So, right, let's jump into this. We'll make ourselves all small and let's watch. Ooh, that's a good one. That's beautiful. So the Dubai Creek Tower's on hold. The Burj Khalifa's done. And it's the biggest building in the world. When was the Burj Khalifa created? It was in 2010. 2010, okay. So I wonder why the Dubai Creek Tower's on hold. Because it's smaller than the Burj Khalifa. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Wow. Tokyo's getting a lot of big buildings, isn't it? Yeah. There's three that I can think of that are in Tokyo. What? The, well, we'll come up to it, the Tower of Babel. Mm -hmm. The Millennium Tower. I'm sure there's another one, but I can't remember The space elevator. The space elevator. Is that supposed to be in Tokyo? Yeah. Jeez, imagine. Tokyo would be the capital of the world for the most impressive buildings. Mm -hmm. Not just the number of people. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, the <laughs> Will the Jeddah Tower ever be built? Because it's been on hold for years. No, I don't think it will as well. Because they're only, what, I think they're 200 metres into it. Oh, the next one is That's there. The Where's that? Sky City. So that looks like it floats in the middle of the sea. The, the this balloon thing up here, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't quite understand what its purpose would be. That's a big tree on an it's island. Like it's like a big tree on an island. But why is it on an island? That's the second one on an island. Do you think there'll be big buildings on islands in the future? Maybe. Maybe. I cannot build. No. <gasps> it's got lots of holes in it. Yeah. What? I, I think it's like Where the, the shops probably. Do you think? Yeah. I don't be huge like think that's two kilometers tall that's like two and a half Burj Khalifa's tall so imagine how wide it'd be mm. oh geez but it looks so ugly doesn't look like a pretty building does it you wouldn't like to live there <laughs> Where's that? Where's the Ultima Tower? In California. California. Jeez. The XC 4000. Four kilometres tall. That's huge. <laughs> but once again, look at it. It doesn't look like you can go in it or live in it. It's just all open. It's like, it's like some of these towers of the future. It's like the Tonchon Tower Babel. Yeah, but it's like the towers of the future. They, they haven't really got a purpose apart from being magnificent structures. Or that we just gone like about there. Yeah. <laughs> no! That's the Tonchon Tower Babel. 
10 kilometers tall. 10 kilometers. See, that's obscene. But once again, could you live there? Because I think that the purpose of that one is a city, almost a sky city. You know, it can fit millions of people within it. 4,000, you never have to leave. Oh, has it got everything in it? Yeah. Wow. It's got about four shops in it. Oh, so four shops? Yeah. Wow. It's like a roller coaster. It's like my park. <laughs> What is that? The launch loop. So instead of getting on a plane and travelling somewhere, would you get on the launch loop and be able to get from, say, England to America? Maybe. Maybe. Or the, or the space elevator. The space elevator that's coming up. like I, I, I'm not quite sure myself but it, it makes earth look like Saturn but I don't understand how that would work the, we've got poles that go into the sea and what would be the purpose would you go up there just for a little trip around a little space trip Maybe. Hmm. hundred thousand kilometers tall. What? A hundred thousand kilometers tall. I thought it was thirty five thousand eight hundred kilometers. Or one hundred thousand. <laughs> it's one hundred thousand it says. That's amazing. Yeah. Like, what would you do? So you'd get on an elevator. Imagine how long it'd take you. I think it might take you about three or four hours to get up there. I think it'd take you even longer. We'll work it out if it's sixty two thousand miles to get up there. How long would that take? If you maybe you were travelling at a thousand miles per hour, is that sixty-two hours it'd take you? What? I think of my terrible maths. That's crazy. So, are they going to build these buildings? Because I'm a little bit scared. Because mm. if you go on a holiday on the space elevator, mm. I'm not going to see you for weeks. Yeah. Do you think you could build the space elevator? No. Why? Because, because we'll need air. We'll need air? Yeah. What do you mean? Ooh. Oh, to build up there, you'd need oxygen. Yeah. Because you won't be in Earth's atmosphere. But I'm sure you could do it. You just have to think about it and then work out how to do it. Maybe that'll be our next video. Uh, no, the next video that I'm doing is the next video. What's the next video going to be? Tell the people who are watching this one so why they should watch uh, the next it, video. Uh, what we're going to look so, at. So, this one's uh, the biggest one I like. And the other one's the, the smallest one I like. The smallest buildings. Uh, no, no, it's like uh, starting from a really small building. Okay. So, so let's start the next video. Okay, let's do that. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this has been as interesting to you as it has for us. And um, I hope you're scared about these crazy, crazy buildings that are coming in the future because um, the space elevator is mad. Nearly as mad as you. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>